In this video, we're going to learn how to create a dynamic list with different items. So to show you what I'm talking about, I'm going to click preview and I'm going to go here to articles. As you can see, we already have a list of articles where all of the items have the same structure but have different content. The content is different, but the composition the same. So we always have an image, a date, a title and a description with this configuration. What we're going to do is create a list where the items have different configurations, making this flex layout more dynamic. So I'm going to get out of the preview and we're going to need the flex layout on our page. So we've already added it on here. What I did was go to the view panel and customize. I added two column span cells with zero vertical gutter and one rem for its horizontal gutter. Now we're going to have to place a block within this flex item. I'm going to expand the doc map so it's easier to see. To place the block, I'm going to come here to UI objects and all you have to do is click. So here is our block. Now, as I had mentioned before, we're going to create a dynamic flex layout. So I'm going to select flex layout and then come here to the data panel and enable dynamic data. Now we're going to select the collection. In this case, we're going to select the collection called photo album. We can automatically see that the block within this flex item was repeated twice. It was duplicated as there are two entries in the photo album collection. If there had been three entries, this flex item would have been replicated three times and so on. What we want is this flex item duplicated. To do this, I'm going to select our flex layout. Here in the data panel, we can add new flex items or duplicate. In this case, I'm going to duplicate. This way, I only have to change the color of the second block. The difference between the first and second block is going to be its background color. So here, in the second flex item, I'm going to select the block. I'm going to come here to the view panel, to background, and I'm going to change this color. I'm going to select this color here. And what we want to happen is for the second block to change to blue. What's happening now is that the first block is the only one that is repeating. To indicate that we want all our flex items to repeat, we will need to select flex layout. Come here to the data panel and activate repeat all items. So we're going to select this option, repeat all items, that will make all items within the flex layout repeat. As we can see on the canvas, our second block is appearing with the color here. So if we had one flex item with another block that had a different color and we had more entries in our collection, it would appear here with its third color. And if we had four, a fourth color and so on. So if I add a new entry to our collection, it would appear here with the first flex items configuration. The third block would be gray. The fourth entry would be blue and so on. To better understand the possibilities of this repeat all items function, we're going to go here to modules. I'm just going to delete these blocks and I'm going to add a flex item module. So I'm going to go here to UI objects, to modules, and down here we have a bunch of different cards. I'm going to select this one here. Okay, great. I'm now going to go to the second flex item and I'm going to add another module. So if we go to the cards, I can find it here. Now I'm going to enter preview mode and as we can see, the layout is starting to take shape. I'm going to come out now. Now I'm going to take a look at the collections. I'm going to go to the collection photo album and now I'm going to click into an entry. In this collection, we have the option to insert three images. I'm going to come out now and what we are now going to do is to link each one of these elements to each one of these fields to insert images. So here we're going to do the same because these are different elements. I'm going to select the image and then go here to the data panel and down here in dynamic data and style in get image from photo album. I'm going to select image one. We can see the image here. Now let's move on to the second. We're going to select top we're going here to get background image from photo album and we're going to choose the second photo. Here I'm going to select bot again. 
and then the data panel, dynamic data and style. And I'm going to select photo number three. Now I can see these three images that correspond to the first entry from the photo album collection. Now we're going to take care of the second flex item. So we're going to go here to top and do exactly the same thing as before. And then we're going to link this to photo number one. We're going to go here to bot and link the photo two. And we're going to go here to link photo number three. So here we can see the images that correspond to the second entry of the photo album collection. As you can see, it's very easy to create more dynamic layouts for lists. All you have to do is enable the repeat all items option and work with the items that create the flex layout structure.